Okay, today we're going to look at how you can repair a light switch with on this lamp. The problem is, is uh, it won't stay on. When you turn the switch, see it, it doesn't stay on, it just goes off and you know, once in a while when you do turn it, it'll go on, but it, you have to hold the switch to keep it on. So we're gonna take a look at the inside and see if there's anything we can do to repair that. Okay, so the next thing we're going to do is just remove this little bracket. Uh, you just compress it and pull it out. So you'll need a Phillips screwdriver. We're just going to undo this screw and that should enable us uh, to, to look at the inside. And one thing you always want to do whenever you're working with electricity is you want to unplug the, uh, make sure it's not hooked up to the outlet. So make sure you unplug that. Okay, the next thing you need to do is we've got to remove this piece right here. And they've got these little clips that we need to uh, just kind of bend out a little bit. You get a small screwdriver, just place it in here and then just bend it out. You've got to get these little clips out so that you can pull it out. You just work your way around. And you can see it's kind of coming out already. Once you get those out, then you just go ahead and pull this out and you can see uh, once you pull this off, here's the switch that we need to replace. Uh, you can see it's got two uh, screws here that we'll need to take out to, or at least loosen to, um, to take the uh, wires off. So we'll go ahead and uh, loosen the wires here. You can use a Phillips or a flathead. And then here's the other one. You just need to loosen it up a little bit and we'll have to reattach the wire here. Okay, there we go. Now we've got this removed. Now there are a couple things you can do. You can look on Amazon. They do have these available on Amazon. I think they're around four or five dollars. Uh, you can purchase that and then you just replace it then and we'll show you how to do that but uh, or you can, we what we did is we went to a local thrift store and we purchased another lamp and we made sure that the inside was similar had a similar switch uh, we're going to remove this and just replace that switch over here because we really love this lamp it's it's antique and uh, just really like it so we 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 want to keep this lamp uh, but the switch is is not working the switch from this other lamp that we purchased at the thrift store again it was only three dollars so we're going to be able to replace or fix this lamp uh, for three dollars uh, just go ahead and unscrew this now the one that you purchased may be a little bit different but you got to make sure that this switch is the same um, some of them are a little bit different some may be more difficult to access uh, all we need to do is go ahead and remove or loosen these screws up here um, we can use a we're using a flat head here and now we'll just loosen that screw up uh, the other one's over here so I'll just go ahead and loosen this basically just the same thing that we just did on the other one um, and there we have the switch uh, now all we need to do is just go ahead and reattach uh, the wires you want to straighten these out and kind of get them together wanted to just pull that up a little bit so it's a little bit easier to work with again we'll just wrap this around and it doesn't matter which you can put them on either one it doesn't really matter You want to put it on the right side, and then when you tighten it up, it won't come out. So we've got that in there pretty well, so we'll just go ahead and tighten it up. Get it nice and snug. And then we'll go ahead and get the other side. Put that in there and just uh, wrap it around. And then go ahead and tighten it up. And 
and then uh, what we need to do now is uh, we'll slide uh, this cover back on. You just make sure this groove is where the switch is. Slide that and push it up. And then you want to make sure that you pull this, pull the cord, so that uh, you don't have a lot of excess in there. Now that we've got it on here, I will just grab some pliers and tighten that up. Just kind of compress it a little bit. Hopefully these are wide enough to do that. go around and compress it looks like that's going to be good enough you just don't want it to slide out that should be that looks like it's on pretty well I will then go ahead and put a bulb in just to make sure that it's working Okay, and then you also need to uh, put the screw back in, just get a Phillips, and this just keeps it from um, turning. You wanna, just want to get that in so that it's nice and snug. And that should be good. Got to remember to plug it back in. And see, now you can see it's staying on. Um, we can turn it off, turn it back on. It kind of has a double switch on it. You have to do it twice to get it to work. But there you have it. Now we've got a, uh, we'll go ahead and put the rest of the components on. You just compress, I'm gonna turn the light off. You just compress this and slide it in. And then you just gotta make sure you slide it down far enough so that it slides in. There we go, and then just slide this over top. And with the, uh, with the uh, remaining piece. And now we've completed the project. Again, we'll go ahead and turn it back on. And you can go ahead and turn it off. So pretty simple fix, uh, save you a few dollars if you really love your lamp and you don't want to uh, replace it with another one. Um, it's a pretty simple switch and uh, thanks for watching Big Al Repairs and hopefully you subscribe.